Hello, this is Lotus from Lotus on EUPV, and I'm going to do a video about farming. So one of the first things I recommend is that you go and find this ground clutter density and you slide that all the way down. This is going to remove all the extra grass and bushes so that you're only going to see things that are going to yield a resource from you. So now you can run up and you can hold H on some of these nodes and it'll tell you basically what you're going to get out of it. So you can look what's in the rock, what's in the bamboo. And so now you're only going to see resources. So what you want to do is you find your nodes and each node has a preset health pool. And so when you're farming, once that health pool reaches zero, the node will disappear. The type of tool you use determines what you'll actually get out of it. So you get 100% out of the node or you get a limited amount. So if you notice when I hit these trees, they have a little bit more health and they have a little bit more resource in them. So I can hit them multiple times. This is where melee will actually play a factor, but when I go back to the bamboo, you'll notice that I just one-shot it. So every swing is going to go and it's going to yield me everything out of that node. Now, the giraffe gets thatch. It's really good at getting thatch, but the elephant is your wood animal. So when you ride this, it goes, and I'm just going to one-shot all these trees. Boop. So one swing gets me a couple hundred wood. Yep. And the reason for this is because it's an AoE swing, and each one of these to the elephant has one hit point. Now, when I go over to the trees, they have more health, and they have a little bit more resource in them, but I'm only getting about 50 wood per swing. I can activate my Nature's Cry, which is going to increase my melee damage. And so the higher the melee damage, the more you will get out of the node, but it will not increase how much is in the node. So what that means is you're going to get the resources faster, but you're not going to get more. So when I go back over to this, it's not going to give me more resources for hitting the tray. See, I'm only getting 70 per swing. Now this has to do with what you're using in order to get the resource. So the giraffe was getting a lot more thatch and the elephant gets a lot more wood. This applies to just about every resource in the game. So your melee damage does affect how fast you'll kill a node. But if you have, let's say, 115 damage per swing and you have a node with 200 health, your first swing is going to give you 115 resource. Your second swing is only going to give you 85. You're not going to get a higher yield. It's just going to be once that node reaches 200, it dies. So I generally spec my animals into more stam and more weight because the stam is going to increase how many swings I get per animal. And then the weight is going to increase what I can carry. Now, if you notice when I jump onto the bear, I don't actually get anything. Now, there is fiber inside of the bamboo. Like, there is bamboo as a fiber. And I'm not actually getting any of it. So, the reason for that is it has to do with the, the type of damage dealt to it. And it doesn't really give you anything. But now, when I run over to the fiber, you're going to notice I'm getting like a thousand fiber a swing. Like, this is a really good fiber area. And so... It does fantastic when harvesting the ground fiber. It also does really good with ground thatch. Now, it didn't do anything for this rock. I don't have a rhino up here to actually show you this, but the reason I don't have a rhino is because I don't really use a lot of stone up here and because there isn't a lot of metal. So for areas like this, I recommend you just carry a pickaxe with you and use a weight bear. Uh, this bear can hold, it's like 4,000 pounds. Uh, we'll check it in a minute here. I have a level. And so... For areas like that, it's better to just use a weight bear. If there were nodes where there was five or six actual spawns of the metal, then yeah, I would go and use the rhino. So we go and put that in the bear. Now, now that you understand how to farm and the methods that I use, it's how do you find an area where you can farm? How do you find an area like this? What I recommend is that you use a lawless. The reason we farm in Lawless is because Lawless has no alpha creatures. They took them out because the Lawless is, or is originally intended to be an intermediate zone, but it's right now this is the meta for farming is because you can not worry about alphas and the resources, if you notice, I have the little ramp structure over there with the crafting station where I pulled my pickaxe out. And it's not affected by the structures that are near it. So you can see this stuff, like I knocked it over, it respawns, and it's not affected by that. Whereas on a claimed island, there's a proximity around structures where stuff will not respawn. 
And so Lawless supersedes this, and so you can just literally run around and build wherever you want, and the stuff will regrow. Like, you can actually see I have trees growing through my base, which is kind of obnoxious, but at the same time, it's... I'm not here to build a super fancy structure. Like, these buildings are here for me to hold my animals and to tame animals, because it's also easier to tame in Lawless, because there's no alphas. Like, nothing's going to run up and kill you. And so, the as a whole, this can lead to you farming. Like, you see the, the resources are literally... They also respawn really fast here, which is another advantage of Lawless. Like, it's minutes to get respawns, whereas it could take a half hour to an hour for some of the trees to respawn on claim territory, but it's just a lot faster to do it here. Um, so, yeah, the TLDR is make sure you're using the right tool for what you're trying to farm and to essentially just find an area where it's really easy to get stuff. Um, there's a lot of islands like this. Um, for thatch, though, I would recommend you find an island with uh, the ground leaves. The ground leaves are the ones the bears can pick up when they do their swipe, and that is the actual fastest thatch in the game. But there, that isn't located on this island. This is just to get the exotic bamboo. Uh, that's everything, though. Hope you enjoyed my video.